the court had testimonies from witnesses detailing how Dube allegedly used the cell phone of his victims to demand ransom from their relatives in exchange for their freedom. One family member testified that they paid Dube over 4,000 rand, but their relative was found murdered the following day. Dube called me on my niece's phone, whom he had kidnapped. He asked me to send him money to release my niece. I deposited the money, but his phone was switched off. After that, I was called to the police station to come and identify the body of my niece, whom he had killed. The state also presented evidence of clothing belonging to some of the victims. The clothing was allegedly found in Dube's home state after he was arrested. I know the body warmer that my daughter was wearing on the day she disappeared. That is why I was able to identify it when police took me to Dube's place. I could easily identify it by a zip that was loose. Dube's defense denied the allegations, saying the men demanding the ransom could have been anyone. The defense also said that clothing items might have been placed on the scene to incriminate the accused. Matlatsi Paladi, SABC News, Polokwani.